I really wanted to use that dumpster, but it's locked. So at least we got a pretty view out of it. So we made it to Sadie Creek and there's a little campground back here and it's free as long as you have your Discover Pass. If you guys can see that sign behind my fan here. It looks like the limit is seven days within a 30 day period. This is very cool. And it has a bathroom. There's even a nice little trail Joey and I can take later. This is awesome. So freaking awesome. We have it all to ourselves right now. Look at us lonely over there. This is amazing. All right, Joey and I are off to find this creek. Ready to go swimming, Joe? I think he's ready. All right, we decided that it's way too hot in this spot because it's directly in the sun. There was another place that was right across the road from here on another river. So we're just gonna go check it out and see if it's a little bit cooler. Maybe we can have some water access because I would really like to get in some water, but we'll see. If not, we'll just come back to this place. So the last one we were just at was Sadie Creek, and the one we're going to is Liar River. 
Hopefully this one, it says, is right on the river, but it's said to be a bit busier, so hopefully we can find a spot. I mean, it's a Monday afternoon, so I can't imagine that it would be, like, completely full. There's a Liar River Campground. This is another DNR land, which stands for Department of Natural Resources. And you do need a Discover Pass in order to come here, otherwise it's $10 a night. But like I told you guys in another video, the Discover Pass for Washington is only $35, and that's for an entire year. I've definitely gotten my money's worth. I am so freaking happy that we decided to try this one instead. Look at this awesome spot. And on top of that, it's right on the river. <laughs> wow. Absolutely incredible. This is amazing. So right next to the bathrooms, they have this little self-registration section. And so you just fill out one of these guys. Let them know that you're staying here. And seven day limit is strictly enforced. Oh, this is so amazing. Wow. I don't know how I keep getting so lucky with these free spots, but this is amazing. I'm right on a river, and it is beautiful, crystal clear water. I have a bathroom right next to me that is very, very clean. Oh my gosh, and the guy came up and talked to me because apparently the spot that I'm in is the Campo spot, which is why it's so much better than all the rest. It has like a concrete pad and it does have like electric and water, but it's locked. Not that I would need to use it, but it does have that and none of the other sites have that, but the Campos won't be here until later next week. So I'm like golden for the next few days to be in this spot. Oh. I just, I just feel very appreciative of what I have right now in my life and to think that I almost didn't make it to here to this point in my life and I would have missed out on all of this. I'm just, it makes me very grateful for what I'm able to do and what I'm doing in my life right now. I don't know. I'm getting all sentimental as I look out into my beautiful sight of a river. <laughs> Just... Tangle, Joe.
poor Joey just got attacked by a dog who was not on a leash. Like, why wasn't he on a leash, babes? And he's like so traumatized because he was such a big dog and he's so little. It was just, oh man. So I'm gonna show you guys the rest of it myself without him. That was so scary. That seriously was so traumatizing, you guys. Oh man. baby are you okay you have me worried Joe I love you so we've just been hanging out I've been editing um, tried to feed Joey but he's not eating he's still like super shaken up so of course I'm like all emotional about it because my poor baby is like he's obviously hurting and he's just like so shaken up like he's acting so weird I feel so bad for him. You're so tiny. He was so big. Are you okay, Joe? He's just being so, like, skittish and... Are you alright? I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry they happened, baby Joe. Hmm? Besides the traumatizing event of Joey getting attacked, this has been a very pleasant place to camp. And this is the Liar River campground. In the last video, we explored kind of the very tip of the Olympic Peninsula. And now we kind of came back inward a little bit and we're back on the 101 heading towards Port Angeles and so we're gonna head back more inland and then some other fun things are gonna happen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!